Hey, in today's video, I'm going to share how I retouch skin in Lightroom Classic. So we're gonna go from this to this. I'm gonna be sharing all my secrets in less than three minutes. And I feel like that retouching the skin in my portraits is literally the cherry on top because it makes the photo look very clean, very minimal, less distractions. Yeah, but we're gonna keep it very simple. That's the whole point of this video. So let's dive straight in. This is Natalie and I've shot this photo at Piha Beach in North New Zealand, a magical place. I've actually recently uploaded a video of this photo shoot. If you wanna check it out, I linked it somewhere up here. So I've applied a grade. This is the preset stills from my preset back if you want to check it out i've linked it in the description with these presets i literally edit all of my photo shoots and so same goes for this one first off natalie has a beautiful skin already but i still want to get rid of some little distracting bits and bobs so i'm going to go into my healing tool here on the top right and then i'm just going to heal some spots So this is before all the spot healing and this is after all the spot healing. Then now that I'm looking at this photo, I feel like it could use a little crop. So I'm just gonna go into my crop tool and then bring it a little bit closer in. So next up is softening the skin. So I'm gonna press K on my keyboard and head into presets and then pressing on soft and skin light. So when we slide down here in the effects, you can see that the texture has been slided down, but also the clarity. And that's exactly what's gonna give that soft look to the skin. So I'm just gonna brush over the parts that I feel like have a little bit too much texture in her face. So that's for example here around the nose and a little bit underneath the eyes, here in between the eyebrows and a little bit here on the temple as well. As you can see this is without the brush adjustments and this is with the brush adjustments and it's very very minimal you can almost not see it but it just smooths out the face very beautifully and the reason why i'm doing selective masking is because if i select the whole face i feel like it will look quite unnatural and by this i can still control where i want texture in the face and where i want it to be a little bit more smoothed out oh something i actually wanted to add that i always do for my portraits is going into the basic adjustments and making sure the clarity slider is down and then i just add the slightest bit of texture just to keep that sharpness and crispiness we're moving on to the under eye circles although natalie almost has none and i'm gonna do that by pressing k on my keyboard which creates a new mask and then we're just gonna select the under eyes and when i go a little bit too overboard i press option and then i can just get rid of the little mistakes i made and then what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna head into my blacks because under eye circles, or at least in a photo, are pretty much shadows. So we're gonna lift the shadows a little bit by bringing up the blacks. And as you can see, it just gives this nice fresh look to her face. But then the finishing touch is brightening the eyes a little bit. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and press K on my keyboard again and then select the iris of her eye. And sometimes I even do zigzag movements just to follow along with the natural curves of her eyes. And I also select this little twinkle here then zooming out it looks very demonic now I'm gonna head into the basic adjustments and then bring up the exposure and then the next thing this is not something I do for every single portrait but especially for these close-up shots this is a really handy tool so what I'm gonna do is press K on my keyboard again and then select the eyes and the eyebrow and then bring up the sharpness because the rest of the face and the hair is quite dreamy because we took out quite a bit of clarity but then by bringing back the sharpness in the eyes it keeps that nice crispy feel to the photo and that is literally it so this is the before and that is the after and this is my exact workflow for when it comes down to skin retouching in Lightroom Classic. And it only took us a couple minutes. And maybe you've already noticed, but I love to keep all the natural features in the face, like little wrinkles around the mouth or around the eyes, or even little freckles, because that is just what you being human is. And I feel like if I make my portraits very like, I don't know how else to describe it, but hopefully you know what I mean. If I edit them too much, I feel like it loses that natural touch and that is just not really my style. If you have any further questions, then please ask them down below and I'll happily answer them for you. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I also hope to see you at my next one. Okay, bye-bye. Doei. Oh, we have sunshine. Oh. <laughs> Doei.